Good morning, Daily Craft, January 19th, 2016. This is Party Cap Jones, and here we are back in Daily Craft. I was looking at our beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Uh, again, another happy birthday out to my sister and cousin and to the other millions of people that I know you personally who have birthdays yesterday and some of the other ones. I'm going to have another slice of birthday cake. Our cake is like almost half gone now. But luckily, uh, we have a cooked fish in here. Mmm, cooked fish. Yum. From our fishing trip yesterday, which was awesome. But today we have real work to get done. We are going to build that farm. And while we need to get animals over there, it's more important that we have a place to put them than to actually have them right now. A little zomb zombie meat. Oh, what's going on with that? Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're just really going to mark out all of this and hopefully get our... Oh, that was scary. Try and knock down some of these things. Ooh. Trying to knock down the rest of this. And make ourselves a fair, uh, fairly large animal area, which we'll leave down here. We're going to leave some room around the outside so that we can walk around it. Let's see, where is a good spot? Do I have an axe on me? I do. Okay, good. Oh, whoops, we missed a spot. Okay, we should probably go to about right there. So then we'll just bring it this way a bit. Oh, wow, this is a much bigger area than I thought it was going to be. We might have to actually make more fence. Uh, it's probably good. Because we're going to have to come around the fence. Then we come this way. I want to also get this coming out here. Oh, no, we ran out. Oops. So, uh, it's very large. Definitely what we need for our purposes. Oh, wait, we have a crafting table down here. Duh. We'll come over here to our crafting table benching area. We're going to throw this dirt, the zombie meat in there. We're going to pick up that. Figure you out later, Mr. Irons Shovel. Oh, look, we have more oak fence in here. Don't need any of that. We'll fill this in. And then we're going to section this off a bit for the animals. I know I could have saved myself by actually doing this beforehand, but who knows? Sorry. Right, now we have to count all this out. One, two, three. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, nice. Uh let's see. So we need one for sheep, one for chickens, one for cows. Sheep, chicken, cows, pigs. Four. So take away four from that, so that's 16. So every four, one, two, three, four, and then one there, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, oops. But one's going to be a bit bigger than the other one. All right. So we'll bring this one all the way up to here. The same with these. Uh, oh, actually, we can move this over a little bit. I'm going to move both of these over one. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. In there. And then where's the middle? This one? There we go. There's that. Ta-da. All right. Now we need to make some gates. First, we need to cut an area for each of these animals. No, it doesn't have to be even. And probably won't be. All right. So we got that down. 
All right, so what I've discovered is that this show is actually turning out to be more of a Sesame Street show. We do a lot of counting. Okay, I think this is how we do it, right? Fence, haha. -ha. I need more sticks. Dang it. All right, so sticks. You drop, go away. All right, so I want to talk about something interesting today. Let's talk about deja vu because deja vu is something that I talked about with a friend today. I thought that it was incredibly interesting. Why I thought it was interesting. Dang it. Oh, well. Why I thought it was interesting is because of what it is. Now, the deja vu, for those who have never experienced it, uh, I experience it almost on a weekly basis. It's incredibly annoying. Uh, torches. Is that it's when you have the sensation of you've been somewhere where you thought before. Now, I've heard different theories on it. And, you know, there's some crazy theories such as, oh, it's when you're, it's, uh, you're given a second chance at life, or a redo, or when you're hitting save on the game of life, whatever. Well, you know, there's a billion different ways to think of this. Now, I don't know what you believe, but I know what I believe. And I believe that Deja vu is a natural thing. I think it's something that does happen and will happen to basically everyone. If you haven't felt it, um, well, I guess you have not much in your life to really remember. Just joking. I was going bug me because I left all the other ones open. Uh, there we go. All right. Is that good? All right, let's go see how our wheat's doing. Anyway, with deja vu is that I've heard different theories on what it is. That works. We have some seeds in our inventory that we can use. Do, do, do. All right, now we have wheat. Put those seeds back out here. Anyway, is that we'll start on this. So with what I've heard with deja vu, and this is the theory that I kind of subscribe to the most, is that deja vu is when you have short term memory uh, being logged into long-term memory spots. Now, that kind of sounds kind of complicated, so let me put it like this. And this was the best way I could think of it. Is that it's when your mind uh, recognizes... Oh, hello. Sheepy. One. Let me help you out of there. Okay. Two sheepies. We'll take you back. And maybe one day we'll do a great experiment on what is a dominant color of sheep. Anyways, is that okay? So you know when you're in a video game and your game lags and so it does that rubber band effect? That is essentially like deja vu. Because what happens is that you know you go back to wherever you were in your deja vu, you go to ever back, you know, two, three steps, two, three seconds of your game time. Oh, come on. Uh-oh, it's starting to get dark. Come on. Can I push you in there? Come on. Oh, okay. 
Come here. Come here. Come in. Aha, good job. Okay, good. Come here, sheepy. So you know like when your game lags. Alright. So I'm gonna give you for a reward. Ta-da! And baby sheep. Oh! You're cute. You're like a light gray. Oh, sunset. Alright, we're gonna go back up here. We got our farm, our little house thing finished. We have some more seeds, which we'll put right here in our places. And we will go to bed. Yay! Job well done. Oh wow, look at that. Very pretty. Might need to put some more torches down there eventually, but we're good for now. Alright, anyway, finish off what I was saying. Is when you lag and your game just, you know, you go and you go like that, that's that's like deja vu because you've seen you step that way before. It's incredibly annoying and I sometimes get headaches from it, but that's it. Good night, y'all.